So this video, we feature the 1998 Le Mans 24 Hours winner, and it is the Porsche 911 GT1. And I have the 118 scale die cast and the 132nd scale slot car. And this one is by Fly. So a uh, very nice model. I had uh, picked this up at a uh, slot swap meet so a little bit of damage on here i don't know if it came that way or i did that but uh, it has had some work done to it new gearing and uh, metal wheels and uh, motor replacement so runs really nice we'll take a look on the track and just see how that works but uh, really is an, uh, an amazing reproduction compared to this die cast uh, both of them are amazing in the detail and the, the paint job as well as the proportions and everything about the car. We'll take a little closer look at this die cast. Now this is a low end die cast. Uh, this is made by, what's the name again? I'll never pronounce this right. Uh, May, May, <laughs> May uh, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyways, it's French, I believe. But anyways, very nicely done uh, from the wheels. The wheels move. It has uh, suspension all round, which is amazing for this. Uh, it has opening doors with a very detailed cockpit interior. If we can see that, if that's in focus, looks very, very nice indeed. And quite nicely detailed. And then the back comes off. If I take me a minute to pop that off. There we go. And I lost my microphone as well. So let me get that pinned back here. Uh, very nice, the back of this uh, nice heavy metal. This, uh, I just picked this up uh, within the last year and uh, wasn't too far away uh nice kijiji find and amazingly it was 25 dollars. i just couldn't resist uh but uh, nice heavy duty metal on this piece here and also we have a very nice and somewhat detailed uh, engine compartment uh with here's that working suspension back here which is very cool and uh, you can see the springs all in here so quite nicely done all right now uh just uh, decal wise uh, again it has the drivers uh alo uh mcnish mcnish i'm familiar with because he was a formula one driver for toyota for a few years back when and or uh or a telly so uh not too familiar with the other two drivers but Again, if you've driven the, any, any of these drivers and Le Mans and such uh, have done Formula One, I know quite a bit about them because I'm a, a real Formula One fan. Now, at the time that this Porsche won the 24 hours, the competitor for that was this Mercedes. And this won the championship that year of a sports car championship of makes but uh, it lost out. It was actually in the lead and was doing quite well, but all of these cars broke down, uh, allowing the, the Porsche to win. By, uh, and actually, they came in first and second uh, in that race, and it was a race of attrition, which is what the 24 Hours Le Mans is all about. So this is made by the same manufacturer, same idea, everything opens up on here. Again, nicely detailed inside. The back comes off all the engine detail. So uh, this one cost me a little bit more. Again, a Kijiji fine. Uh, this one cost me 45 bucks. So uh, very reasonable. And they're very nice models uh, for the price range. Now, for that race in that year, I don't have a whole lot of literature on that. I do have this auto course from uh, 98. And Auto Course is primarily Formula One, but it does have a section in the back here that does go over the uh, championship of makes. And there's the, the uh, Mercedes we were talking about. But 
uh, it does cover Le Mans. And there is our winning car down there. A little worse for wear. Uh, actually, this is the teammate. So it's 25 as opposed to 26, I think. I'm trying to see that clearly. But uh, yeah, very small article on here. Uh, but the other, if we look up top here, if I can get this lined up so we can see the picture, the uh, Viper. I do have the Vipers from that year. I do have that car. And uh, another Fly. Fly is amazing for doing Le Mans cars. That seems to be their uh, specialty. And I did get, and again, another uh, online uh, buy. Uh, nice box set on the, the Team Orica Vipers uh, from the 1998 Le Mans race. And a beautiful box set here and if we open that up yeah they always do a fantastic presentation and we have the uh, Viper team and then we've got that in comparison to our Porsche but uh, we'll uh, feature our Porsche we'll make them both a little run see how they go uh, this is stock fly uh, from the gears and uh, whatnot, I did replace with uh, nice sticky urethanes that I made. And uh, see how it goes against this with all the mods and everything. This obviously has worked up for wood track racing, but we'll try it on my plastic track. So we'll do our testing next. So here we are ready for our track test. We have our Porsche 911 GT1 ready to go and the two Vipers on either side. We'll give one of those a go in comparison. Now I used to have the Mercedes uh, equivalent car that won the 1998 and it was a Ninco and that was a number of years uh, ago when it first came out and it wasn't a good runner and I had uh, some issues with it so I traded it off for something else. I wouldn't mind getting one. I see Rebo slot makes a really nice one. I may look at uh, <laughs> investing in that down the road. Always like to have cars uh, with competitors and kind of pairing them up. But anyway, let's give this one a go. Running at 14 volts, bit noisy with a gear issue. Good and fast, handles well. Great runner. A uh, bit noisy because of that gear issue, which I'll look at replacing sooner than later. And uh, yeah, let's give uh, our Viper a go. We'll switch this out and uh, see how that one runs. Also running this at 14 volts, nice and quiet. Viper has a magnet, whereas the Porsche didn't. Nice smooth car, nice and quiet. Uh, good performer, maybe not as uh, fast as our other uh, Porsche, but that was a different class. So this actually works out quite nice. It has a, a good balance of proportionate speed from one category to the next. Now on to next, I have uh, our Porsche uh, featured car here. I do have that on a sim. So we'll do a little virtual racing. Okay, a set of Corsa, and here is our car. I am going to do some setup. Take a look how this works out. I'm going to go to arrow. I'm going to keep all that. What I am going to change is our preload. Bump that up to 50. I'm going to go to suspension. So, I'm going to go to soft slicks. I am going to... Go less rear tire pressure, hopefully to give us more grip. Increase tire pressure in the front to get more turn in. Uh, our toe in, I'm going to get rid of some of that for high end speed. Let me go back, didn't quite match that one up. Spring suspension, I'm going to soften that up considerably. That'll help us stay on the track, I'm hoping. Oh, hang on, where are we? There we go. And even our roll bar, uh, anti-roll bar, I'm going to decrease that. All in name of 
getting us good traction. Electronics, so we are going to have uh, traction control and any uh, lock brake. And I think we're ready to go. So here we go. Imola, overcast day, a number of classic Le Mans cars in front of us. We're in 11th out of 14 on the field. I'm gonna try and stay out of trouble here. I've been having a hard time making it to the first corner off the track because I was rear-ended. Got a classic Porsche 917 in front of us. Not sure how fair this is because uh, this car does have superior aerodynamics and downforce. Because this is a much newer car in comparison. Oh, there we go. There's a collision to my advantage. But hopefully it gives me a clear run on this lap. Up to third place from 11th. All good. Very steep uphill. Right-hander. And then gearing right down. Slow corner. And then way downhill here. But really opening her up. Brakes. And then really slow down to second. A very tight right-hander and a very steep uphill. Elevation change is amazing on this track. Really feeling the road and the bumps and the handling on this car, on this track. Lots of interactive feedback in the wheel. Very fast right-hander, then super slow, gearing right down, and oh boy, didn't want to really get caught up in this here at this point. Yep, I'm getting hit, getting hit, knocked off the track here. And here we go. Up second place. Well, this is a crazy first lap. But a lot of close calls. Wide open. Not really a straightaway, but you can just keep the throttle wide open. And then... Got our Moby Dick uh, Porsche in front of us. See if we can make an impression on here. Oh, we caught up pretty good. Very slow section here. Got to really pick my point carefully where I'm going to try to overtake. Because collisions, oh man, I have a lot of them. Is this fast, right, uphill section? Trying to keep this clean, yep, I made a clean. Made a second lap. Second gear turn up, here we go. Very steep corner. It's almost like I have to get into first to get up that hill better. Here's the chicane, right down another second gear. Try and make this clean. And then a clean getaway. We have a left. Then a very fast right, and then a hard on the brakes. This corner's been my undoing many, many times, trying to take this way too fast. And now here we are, finishing our second lap. That was nice and clean compared to last time. Got a little tap from behind and took me off. Cut these corners straighten this out as best we can and into our braking zone oh that was our fastest lap so far there with no other cars in the way i can take a proper race line and get a better speed for sure Low section, <laughs> sparse, sparse crowd in the stands. <laughs> Uphill section, 
This car really handles quite nicely. Why don't you get it set up? It does take a fair bit of setup to make this really functional. But once you've got it, it uh, is really, really nice. As you can see, we made short work of the field. Not that I had it at its most uh, difficult setting of the competition. Oh, a little excursion off the track there, all on my own. And here is our kind of overcooked that chicane there, but made out all right. This corner is more of my undoing. Although we're nice and clean here, happy with that. Hard to put together a good clean lap where you're happy with all the turns. But this has been pretty good. One more lap after this and we'll wrap it up. But a very nice try. This is a classic. It's been around a long time. With Imola in Italy. Kind of the... A second at time right oh another fast faster even still next to monza we have this classic italian track this has a lot more elevation change which is quite quite nice a little over the curbs but when you soften the suspension you can get over those curves without being unsettled so uh, it's getting that set up right that fast right hander very steep uphill and then gearing down this is slow and then really going downhill where you can really get some speed going but we saw last time I took this a little fast and got out of shape kind of watching the curbs here up to our chicane not to take this too fast and don't want to go over these curbs too much because again I can oh wrong gear bogged down coming out of there I was in third through there should have been in second oh jeez <laughs> back end oil came out on me uh, it would have been all oil jeez again too aggressive or are my tires going off there we go end of that race that was nice and clean <laughs> for compared to what I've been doing before so this is great anyway there's our Porsche on Imola